in this video, we'll share tips to improve your mental health so that you may feel positive emotions and have a high sense of well-being. I'm Dr. Elias Moitinho. And I'm Dr. Denise Moitinho for Motivation and Growth. We are authors and professors, and in this channel, we motivate you and give you tips and life skills to help you grow in your life. Mental health is your overall sense of well-being. It's how you think, feel, behave, and relate to people. And we're going to make things simple here to help you understand this concept. We're going to use the biopsychosocial spiritual model. I know, it's a big word. Let's explain what that word means. It's a holistic approach. It's a way to see people as a whole. Biology biological. It focuses on the body, the physical health and illnesses. This includes the brain and neurobiology. Psycho is the psychological part of who you are. It focuses on the mind and the emotions and the thinking process. How you think influences your emotions and your behavior. Yes, and social is about relationships, romantic, intimate, or family and peers relationships. Positive relationships provide support and help you feel loved, and, and thus it enhances your sense of well-being. Mm -hmm. So, however, toxic relationships and negative social media uh, can really drag you down and, and affect your mental health negatively. And then the spiritual part of the biopsychosocial spiritual model refers to faith and the spirituality. For us Christians, it's about our relationship to God. We'll give you several tips, practical tips, to improve your mental health. Let's start with bio, physical. Engage in physical activity regularly, maybe walking. Depending on your fitness level, you can do aerobic activities. The benefits are great. The body releases several chemicals such as endorphins, dopamine, serotonin, and so forth. There are important things that will happen to your body as you take the time to engage in physical activity. Also, eat healthy. You can research the website choosemyplate.gov and learn a lot about healthy foods. The benefits of eating healthy is that you will feel better mentally. Also, we recommend that you sleep. Take the time to sleep your seven hours. Seven to nine hours is what is recommended. So we want to encourage you to do that as well because sleep boost your mood and can help you think more clearly and also helps you to be more alert during the day. The psychological part is the cognitive or the thinking part of your life, the thinking and the feeling. So regarding thinking, we recommend that you replace negative, distorted thinking with positive, hope-inspiring thoughts and biblical truth. Yes. This is what counselors call cognitive appraisal. It's how you view and perceive a situation. And we encourage you to make an effort to see the situations from a more realistic and positive perspective. This is about is the cup half empty or half full? Hopefully you can view the cup as half full. For us Christians, when we talk about perspective, it's important to ask what does the Bible say about this situation? And a tip here regarding the psychological part is use journaling, the journaling technique. We've talked about it in other videos. Counselors recommend this technique to clients because it helps reduce stress, helps deal with feelings of anxiety and depression. And you can do it in different ways. You can journal your prayers. Yes, write down your prayers to God. Or you can journal your thoughts and feelings. Write as much or as little as you want. Another tip here is express your emotions and feelings by using I statements. And laugh frequently. Yes, laughter is good for your mental health. You may want to watch some funny videos and laugh, laugh until you can't stop it. And practice self-care. We have a video on self-care tips and we'll put the link here for you. Social. Having healthy, supportive relationships 
will help you develop a positive outlook in life. And you also have support when you experience feelings of sadness, maybe depression or even anxiety. A tip here is spend quality and quantity time with your friends. This is going to be meaningful for you. If you are married, then the focus is on your marriage. Spend time with your spouse. Do fun things with your spouse. This is going to be good for your mental health. If you have conflict, it's important to deal with conflict effectively. We have videos on how to communicate and deal with conflict here in our channel. A tip here is set boundaries in your relationships. Learn to say no, because when you say no to some good things, then you can say yes to some better things for your life. Be wise when you are using social media. This is so important because social media can become toxic for your mental health. And if you are angry with someone, it's important for you to deal with those feelings of anger. We have videos here in our channel to help you deal with anger. Spiritual, connect with God. Your relationship with God will influence all other areas of your life. And when you are filled with the Holy Spirit, you experience God's peace and display the fruit of the Spirit. The Bible says, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. These virtues certainly are a reflection on a mature person, as we say, someone with good mental health. The tip here is this, rely on your spiritual resources, worship, pray, and meditate on God's Word. Seek to find meaning and purpose in life. For Christians, this means to discover God's will for our lives. So we need to pray and ask God to show us His purpose for our life. So there are multiple things you can do to take care of your mental health. Watch the videos you see here on the screen to continue to learn about how to improve your mental health. If you liked this video, click the like button, share it with your friends, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.